Well, hello there, Canton Christian Home people. How you doing? I can see you in my mind's eye. Maybe not in my, uh, in the real world, but here we are together again. I want to thank Diane for the, the work she does in putting this all together. And I um, really appreciate it. And, uh, well, here I am in my humble home here. I wish I could show you around, and maybe someday I will show you my where my harp is and my desk and everything. But you know, when you make television, <laughs> all you have to do is clean up one little corner. Yeah. So anyway, I straightened my picture and put a dimmer light in my in my lamp, and I'm all set to go. I'm just going to make sure that the tape is rolling here. Yep, it's rolling. So, I hope you've all been well, and I'm looking forward to the day that I can be with you in person. Won't that be nice? That'll be a that'll be a reunion, won't it? So, anyway, I have a whole bunch of songs I, I'm doing for you today. Thank you for your requests, and um, you know, just keep you know, Diane collects them. So if after this program, if you say, oh, I wish you would have played that or that or whatever, you tell her and she sends them to me as she gets them. And um, I keep a list and we'll go from there, okay? All right, well, anyway, it's a great day. It's a great day when you open your eyes, right? It's the day that the Lord has made. It's just like a little opener. Sing with me. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day. soon you know I thank the Lord every day and that I get up that I can still serve and um, it's really great and I want to thank uh, I want to thank Eddie Ghosh for that request and uh, yeah just keep those requests coming because it makes my work easier all right here's a song that I was supposed to do the last show that somehow I didn't do it and um, here's a request uh, for Jack and Nora, and it's called Long Ago and Far Away. Skies were like overcast and I 
to find someone that fits you that good well you are lucky indeed and those of you who have had wonderful spouses and uh, I know a lot of you too and uh, they were wonderful well long ago but at least far away there's Acapulco and uh, we don't have to long for it quite so much now because we're almost in summer but uh there's a great little polka I discovered not too long ago, and I do it with my band. We're not doing a lot these days, but uh, maybe someday we can come back and play on the stage. Wouldn't that be nice? But anyway, here's Acapulco, Acapulco Polka. That's a tongue twister. Woo! And if you haven't heard it, enjoy it. tired I hope so all right that reminds me of a polka that I used to play I remember my granddaughter's first birthday party and this was her favorite song and she would dance around and I think she maybe one maybe two but here, here here's uh, here's the clarinet polka Thank you. 
Clarinet polka. All I needed was a clarinet, right? Or at least my accordion. Maybe someday I'll put my accordion on here, but it, I didn't want to negotiate it today. So anyway, I wanted to, I was, as I was playing my nice piano here, I wanted to tell you a little story about it. I bought this in 1971, and I bought it kind of as a gift to myself my senior year of college so I could practice my recital, my senior recital, inside my own home instead of going to the little practice rooms. I went to uh, Bethel College in Mishawaka, Indiana. And um, Mishawaka, that's the name of an Indian princess, and it's by South Bend. They're called Twin Cities. And um, my wife and I lived in a little shack right on campus. They had these little barracks, you know. I, I forget what it was before it was a college. When I went there, there were less than 500 students there. Today, it's close to 5,000, maybe even 5,000. But isn't it amazing how, how things change over the years? Yes, it is. But um, I bought this piano, and you know, my teacher there, his name was Ken Kohler, and uh, he had a piano exactly like this, and I loved that piano. I called up the music store and I said, I want one like this, how much is it? And they said, $1,100. Well, that was a lot of money back then. But um, I ordered that straight from Japan. I didn't even look at it. I was so sure I wanted that piano. And uh, there it was, it was in my home and um, I enjoyed it. I got through my senior recital and I managed to get my undergraduate degree with a piano major, so amazing. I was not a natural scholar. The only thing I really liked to do was play music. Makes sense, right? But anyway, speaking of Acapulco, you're south of the border, not quite as far. South of the border, down Mexico way. That's where I fell in love. Stars above came out to play. Mexico and found his his old love getting married. Oh, too bad. All right. Well, you know, we don't never know what tomorrow's going to bring, right? And uh, boy, during these COVID days, isn't that the truth? And um, one of the things that's come my way is that um, 
Westminster Presbyterian Church, which I worked for many years ago, middle 80s. Um, they left the denomination and we became an independent church and I'm the music director. I only wish I had a big bus and a bus driver. I'd come and get, I'd come and get you. But that's uh, 171 Altman Avenue Northwest and we have a lovely service on Sunday at 10. I wish you could be there. They got this big, this beautiful organ, which I play organ music. I've got a little band there and we play. It's wonderful. I'll have to let you know, Diane, about uh, uh, spaghetti suppers that we're, we have started up again. I wish there was some way we could get a few of you people there. So, well, we'll just think about that, won't we? Anyway, we just go from one day at a time, don't we? And I love, I have loved this song for so many years. I used to play it on Wednesday night at Westminster Presbyterian Church. Don Bartow, who now runs uh, um, TLC, the Total Living Center, and uh, he was famous locally for his healing ministry. I should say local. Uh, I shouldn't say locally, internationally. He's a wonderful author, and he was the foremost Presbyterian ministering in healing. And we had a great service, and um, this was one of the favorite songs that was part of that repertory. One Day at a Time. Mary John Wilkins. It's 
It's actually better that way. It's easier on your nerves, you know? Just go one day at a time. I'm gonna check and make sure my camera is still rolling. Excuse me a second. All right, trusty camera is still rolling. All right, let's see what's coming down the pike. All right, here's a song that Patricia requested. It's called Love Lifted Me. We just sang that not too long ago at our new church. It's the old Westminster Church, but it's now called Harder Heights Community Church. singing right all right here's an old song uh it's by george gershwin and um it's also a request by patricia and it's called embraceable you <laughs> I do. Above all, I want my arms around you. Don't be a naughty baby. Come to Papa, come to Papa, do my sweet embraceable. Yep, 
George Gershwin, My Sweet Embraceable You. What a lovely song. They don't write songs like they used to, right? <laughs> I know. Isn't that the truth? Well, well, I had another request here for the Lord's Prayer. And uh, I bet you a lot of you had the Lord's Prayer sung at your weddings, right? How many remember your wedding day? I sure do. It's a great day. <laughs> for some uh, patriotic songs too and um, so here's here's one That was, of course, America the Beautiful. I hope you were singing along with it.
bless her. Yes. It won't be too long before uh, we get to the 4th of July. Boy, don't the weeks and months go fast. I thought they'd go slow being retired, not having enough to do, but that isn't the case. Now I feel like I have too much to do. Imagine that. Well, anyway, I have my, I have my nice relaxing moments, especially, oh, my dogs. I put my dogs out because I started this program and within the first two minutes, someone pulled up in my drive and you know, how much racket four chihuahuas make. Oh boy, no point in fighting it. So I just put them out. I should go get a dog and introduce you to another one of my dogs. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, um, let's see what else I have. Well, this program is not as taking as long as I thought it would take. You know, uh, last, uh, last program, I had a lot of interruptions. I introduced you to my dog. I told you a lot of stories. <laughs> oh, don't my stories go on and on. Hi, Betty, I see you out there. I hope you're there. And um, Carol and all my other friends. It's so nice to, so nice to be able to entertain you. Be sure you turn in those requests to, uh, to Diane and um, I'll, I'll, I'll learn them. You know I will. So, well, you know what? I'm going to take some requests now. Now, this is a, this is a, this is a good exercise. And you, we have to have a go-between. Now, the go-between is going to be God. So you just, you just pray and say, oh, I wish he would play that. And um, I'm going to listen right now and see if I can get one of your requests. Okay. All right, well, here's one that popped into my mind. Come true. Dreams will all come true. Growing old with you. And time will Sharing each day more than the day before. A spring. I will understand 
tempo. Uh, my wife and I usually sing it. I, I should, I should get her up. It's early here now, and uh, but, uh, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? So if you want to have fun, come along with me. Hey, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How about cooking something up with me? How about cooking something up with me? All right. Here's the TikTok polka. requests out there any other requests how about this one playing that a long time you know it's a good thing i have friends that play updated songs i would just get stuck in the past <laughs> does that sound familiar <laughs> oh my all right how about how about some other requests wouldn't it be nice if we had that computer set up where you could type in your requests they do that you know i'm, I'm watching my monitor and uh if I go live, I can I can take live requests. That would be so cool. All right. Well, someone out there wants to wants to hear Claire de Lune. I'm not sure I can get through it without practicing it, uh, but I'm gonna try a little of it.
clair de lune means the light of the moon. And uh, we have a common word there, loon. We get our word lunatic, and it uh, means someone who is so crazy they just go out in the field and howl at the moon. And just in case you didn't know that. Someone out there wants to hear this old hymn, Sweet Hour of Prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. I was raised on the old hymns, and um, I used to play for hours and hours on end in my dad's uh, storefront church. And uh, he was uh, kind of a Pentecostal preacher, and he'd have hour-long sermons and then pray at the altar for another two hours. So I had plenty of time to learn how to imp improvise, right? Yes. Someone out there would like to have prayer for a, a special healing that you're concerned about and I'm going to sing this song for you and as we sing let's all pray for each other as we bear these burdens in our bodies and in our situation okay <laughs> faith been sorely tried. Lift up your eyes, here cometh your help. It is Jesus for you, he has died. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, rise up, your faith has made you whole. And uh, I don't believe we have to just 
you know, grovel before God and just, but just accept it by faith. That brings to mind another little song that I wrote. It's kind of a country rhythm. What thing soever you desire in your heart, what thing soever That's the key. That's what Jesus says in the Gospel of Mark 11, 24. Mark 11, 24. Yeah. Mark 11, 24. What things you desire in your heart when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And if we do all those things, try our best to live in faith, then we're going to have that victory, aren't we? Here's a great, great old song. I think I'll end my program. Victory in Jesus.
now I'm going to fly away. <laughs> I hope to see you in a month. And uh, it'd be nice to get on a monthly schedule, wouldn't it? It'd be really great. Thanks again to Diane. Thanks to all my friends. And you take care of yourselves and be happy and love y'all. Bye-bye.